Arr, shiver me timbers, mateys. I would rather have a friend than an enemy. But you know, poor Morg official, he'd rather have an enemy than a friend. And this is your leader of Hyperionism. <laughs> he would rather have me bombard him forever, uh, making him my main uh, guy. Man, Morgan Knight, I love you. You're giving me a chance to be the rebuker of Isaiah 25 as it is foretold upon the latter day mountain. Are you ready for that? Are you able to listen to Captain R? And are you willing to go out to the deep where the treasure of excellence comes from SpongeBob? You know, we must become like little children. Now, I don't know about you, but SpongeBob uh, beats Yogi Bear and Huckleberry Hound, too. So shiver your own timbers, make your own day. Let's get with some SpongeBob happiness. Because if we will go out to the deep, deep calls out to deep, way deeper than Davy Jones' locker ever was, far deeper than the crystalline, bottomless blue ocean of the adoration of he who is the blessed, the beloved, and the adored. Are you ready to dive in to the excellence of treasure, which is the love of Christ, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, our returning Messiah, Emmanuel, God with us again soon, if people will receive his message of Malachi 3, 1. He say unto all people, he say, I love you. And because I love you, he says, I am the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, declares the living word, John 10. And then he says, and I am the Lord God almighty of all mankind, absolutely all, says the Lord God, Jeremiah 32, 27. And behold, he who prepares the way for the Lord, the messenger of Malachi 3, 1, who prepares uh, the hearts of the children by telling the children the truth, the gospel everlasting truth of the everlasting gospel, by telling children, don't love your parents with shallow kind of fake love. If your love is not in spite of kind of love, if your love is not loving through all things kind of love, you got no love at all, children. Then you're as fake as the adults. Then you're standing in the land of Davy Jones' locker, standing in the dead, land of the dead, having a form of happy guys, but being unloving and ungrateful and unthankful. So we got to put on a smile like uh, Spongebob does, and poor Morg official, he could have a friendship. Now, isn't this the peak of insanity, people of uh, reason and logic, true Hyperians, if there are any out there that are not already putrid with uh, uh, stuff worse than putrid Putin, who's cutting the earth a brand new slaughterhouse five uh, with his uh, saber of the great bear that he arises to hear the words and now uh, you may go eat all the flesh that you would like because he is the great uh, beast, the Antichrist of Daniel 11. Poor Morg official, he's just a poor second runner up. He is the lawless one who uh, would die by a sword in Revelation 13. He is also Antichrist, but he is no Putin. There's only one Putin that would cause seven horny women, excuse my French kids, uh, let's just say uh, amorous women, uh, who, who would uh, take one man. And uh, so seven women and one man is what is foretold for days after the battle of slaughter, when the eyeballs will consume away in the sockets, the tongues consume away in the mouth, and the flesh consume away as people stand there in the valley 
of death, as Zechariah 13 foretold for these hours. And then all mankind, the king and the brave and the wise and the stupid and the smart and the, uh, the midgets and the, the giants, everyone will have to go underground into the valley, into the depths of the caves of the rocks. All of mankind would have to go underground before our total decimation at the hand of the reaper uh, who would bring a world with no birds, no fish, no mankind left at all, nothing but utter death, and earth could never rise again, Isaiah 24 in pieces. But Isaiah 25 foretells that upon the latter day mountain one would come uh, and reveal the truth for people for the very first time as he rebukes many people from afar, like morgue official, Dr. David Owar, the false Elijah, who can be seen at repent, prepare, uh, repent and prepare the way, calling down fire from heaven uh, in front of many multitudes, just as Revelation 13 has said. And so prophecy is manifesting all over the place. The blessed woman of Revelation 12 has come forth in these days of Satan's removal. Iblis, Diablo, Beelzebub, Mephistopheles, the snake of Eden had to be removed as Daniel 12, 1 and Revelation 12 foretold for the days of the messenger of the message of love so that uh, good vibes of happiness can come forth for all people. I would rather have happiness with a friendship with you, Morg, if you're man enough to be a friend with uh, a man of love. Because I love you like a brother of another mother. You're just, you got your head up your ass is all. But you can remove it if you want. You're able to swallow swords, so I think you can get your head out of your ass. And if you would, then you would realize how hypocritical it is for a guy who founded a religion, a Hyperionism. You were a freak show guy then, and you still a freak show guy. Nobody's collecting money at live uninterrupted like you. You are the king of uh, YouTube, and you know it. And meanwhile, I'm the David against Goliath, don't you know? A guy with, like Morg Official, with over a million followers strong, uh, and uh, I with 400. He with 400 videos and I with 12,000. <laughs> and but I am the one, the thresher, the sh shredder with teeth that was foretold in the word of God in Isaiah 25. And so in this hour, the Lord is revealing the utter foolishness, vanity of vanities, saith the preacher. Are you ready for that? Because Morgan official, Morgan Knight is not. He's got no spiritual balls. He's a spiritual eunuch. And I should have guessed uh, this uh, is not for kids. This video is for adults, but if kids ever see, this is the lawless one that I'm talking about that was to be revealed. Someone bringing much darkness into this already dark, dark world. And so Morgan Knight, uh, the treasure of my excellence of attack, uh, I am the sword of love and I come against you because you're a fool. You're a fool who based his whole religion on bringing forth unity amongst mankind. And you always said that you had a way, a plan to do it. And you've never divulged the secret yet because you have no plan. You're just out there feeding your coffers and you are just in it for the money. And you, if you love, all people, as you say, you do. And if you want equality to go forth, are you ready for it by the word of God? Because he says, Morgan, to all people, if there is a God, he says, I am your God. You are my people, Morgan. If you commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit and kick love right out of you, for he is love. He is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. And he is the God of all mankind. 
Uh, and this is the true God, and the, that God is not in the world. No one has that true God, and no one has a God of unconditional love. That is the only God that is alive, and his name is love. And every knee will bow unto that name. Every tongue will confess that name, Morgan. And if, lastly, he, the false God of this world, is a God who is a respecter of men. He likes Christians best. If you don't like them, believe that he's love. He's going to hate you forever as he fries you as a crispy critter everlastingly with horror and glee in his eye. Are you ready for that? No, no one could be because that God has never existed. And so the Lord says, I am your God. You are my people. I forgive you and I will never remember it. Sending Satan straight to the pit as Daniel 12 uh, says Daniel 12, 1 and Revelation 12 uh, enumerate for the latter days that this would happen. And here it's happening and no one wants to know. No one cares. There are still many demons left behind like Morgan Official. The grim reaper of death is most grim about losing. That guy is the front line uh, soldier of a religion that exists for no damn good reason other than giving money to a, a scoundrel who's in a bullshit religion about a bullshit nothingness that will ne ever make any difference in bringing any form of peace into this world. So hear the word of Spongebob through Cahill Gabran. Uh, Spongebob is my hero of heroes. He is the icon of all icons for all being as a little child. But our majesty of majesties, a servant of love was Cahill who wrote the prophet. And so uh, he wrote a letter from heaven unto SpongeBob. And SpongeBob, mateys, wants you to know that if you don't want to walk the play, uh, if you don't want to walk the play, I can't even say it, the pla plank, don't walk the plank there, guys. Don't shiver your own timbers. If you don't want to walk that that old creaky board, then it's time to hear the word of friendship. Because with friendship, every day can be a happy, happy day. And so the spirit of friendship came and said, You're a, f a friend is someone who answers you and who will not reject you. A friend who is someone who would debate you on the best way uh, to uh, bring peace and love and kindness into this world. And Morgan Knight is afraid because he knows he has no responses whatsoever for Captain R. And he are not ready for me ever. And so it is time to come unto him uh, who is love with hunger and passion and seek him love for peace. And when your friend speaks his mind, you fear not the nay uh, that is in your own mind, nor do you withhold any eyes. You answer yes if you are going the way of love. And I don't give a damn what religion you are or what religion you are not. Go the way of love. Watch the deathbed confession of Anton LaVey. Are you ready for that? The writer of the Satan Bible who uh, met the Lord on his deathbed and discovered that he was really love all along. <laughs> How ironic. So get ready for that one, people. And know that when he is silent in your heart, he who brings happiness doesn't stop to listen to his heart. For without words, all friendship, all thoughts, all desires born of uh, good uh, faithful few people that like Spongebob. And if you don't like Spongebob, then you're an arsehole. And that is just the truth. And I will defend Spongebob to the utter death because he has a better idea about getting things done than uh, Mr. Morgue Official ever had. And know that all good expectations are born and shared. And if a fool like a morgue official won't share his uh, delightful uh, tidbits of wisdom on how we get unity in this world without overthrowing it and bringing much blood, as he said in his earlier deleted videos, <laughs> 
That's what he first promised until I nagged him a, a couple of years ago and then he deleted all the evidence. Yeah, 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 that was good going. That was smart. I never should have said nothing. I should have just let, kept my damn mouth shut. But I had a big mouth and sometimes I stick my peg leg in there. But uh, it's better than uh, 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 when, when Morg lies, his dick grows long like a, a javelin because he wants to joust as many as he can. And so in this hour, know that when friendship is silent, uh, it is time that uh, he who is our friend of friends on high, he sings over us good pirates in silence and with much joy, for he does not love any of us. He does not love Morg Official. He absolutely adores you. So don't be a anymore just because you were taught twisted religion it's time to untwist it it is love alone that will cause this world to have the shattering of the power of the holy people Daniel 12 7 because God's word was only closed till the time of the end Daniel 12 9 and if it does not open Jesus Christ cannot return he is stuck in reserve in heaven and, and cannot come back Acts 3 21 for the message of Malachi 3 1 if it is not shared with the world uh, then this world will be destroyed utterly and we will all go the way of Davy Jones locker and there will be no birds in these days that are exactly like the days of Noah and there shall be no fish uh, no fish at all poor Spongebob would then have no friends left because there would be no fish no bird and no pirates at all and know that the just will live by my faith even though I am a pirate because uh, there is no damn good swabby out there. Romans 3.10, there is no damn good man. No, not even one. So what's all the friggin' uh, hypocrisy out there? Uh, it's a loveless church, believe me. I've discovered it firsthand. And so in these days, it is time to realize that when we part from our friend, uh, someone who is truly a friend like Spongebob has always been to me, uh, that uh, we would grieve not for that which you love most within him, like Spongebob, might be uh, more clear in his absence. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. It'll be more clear just as the mountain climber uh, becomes clearer to the plane and as he gets to the highest peak suddenly he can see a crescendo a higher pinnacle than what he saw before as he goes ever higher by the holy spirit dove of love uh is better than a parrot because that guy he will transform as the most regal eagle of the eon so that people mount up on eagle's wings and know that the mountain to the climber ever soars higher because this is that mountain the latter day mountain of 12,000 videos uh, that would come forth uh, and have the veil of love removed uh, Daniel uh, predicted the shattering Daniel uh, Daniel uh, 12 7 and but these are the days for the veil to be removed off all the nations of the earth Isaiah 25 uh, this is the gross darkness that has covered absolutely all mankind, all the religious potatoes out there, and all the, the squidwards of the world who are uh, got the big nose in places they shouldn't be. And so don't walk the plank on this one, kids. It's time to get it going, for it's time to realize that if we love uh people the right way, then love will seek nothing but the disclosure of its very own mystery in these days of Elijah, the days of the mystery of Revelation 10, 7, completely over, completely manifesting before your hearing, if anyone has ears to hear, because these are the days where it is revealed that wide is the way to hell, and most people have been on it by uh, their condition of love. And it is time to beat the sword into the sickle in order to learn the ways of war no more. Which simply means, as Isaiah 2 and Micah 4 says, that we must change our love 
change our useless, undivine, conditional love, our because kind of love, and an if kind of love, and a but, and a why kind of love, into a in spite of love, that you just love in spite of, and you love through it all, and love your parents' kids, if any kids hear this old captain. And so it is time that we let our very best be for our friend like Spongebob and know that uh, if you wanted to be my friend too, Morg, I would be your friend too. And I would forgive you and I would love you and I would uh, rebuke you no more. But until you answer just my little uh, debate uh, challenge, then you are the defeated uh, champion because you're too cowardly to face the uh, accuser. <laughs> Nobody's going to, you know, everybody's going to start thinking, man, you, this guy won't even debate him on unity like he wanted to found his religion on. What kind of leader is we following? A gutless guy that has no opinions? Hmm. And so in this hour, it is time to know that if, uh, if he must know the ebb of your tide, your friend, it's time to let uh, him know it's flood also. And let the living water flood us bring down deeper than SpongeBob, deepest deep. And uh, we need to know that for what is your friend that we should seek him with hours to kill? Uh, we, we seek people a bird of a flat feather flock together and if you're a big kid like me you want to hang around big kids like spongebob he's the best bud and if i knew him in person i keep sending him letters and they keep sending me uh uh wrong addresses that spongebob he keep moving his pineapple and he don't leave a forwarding address <sighs> frustrating but one thing about friends it is uh, a pleasure that friends will feel, fill your need, but never fill your emptiness. And in the sweetness of friendship, good souls, happy souls, gay souls like SpongeBob, my bud, uh, he fills the days with laughter and the sharing of pleasures. For in the dew of little things, the heart of good ones like SpongeBob finds its morning and it becomes refreshed. Uh, and so these are the days to pursue love. For love has his way in the storm, and the clouds are but dust under the feet. And so in this hour of lifting up love, higher than love has ever been lifted before, we've got to get close to the truth. And if we must open up our eyes, let it be. And then we could be really good pirates and switch to the other eye. You get that one? <laughs> Either that or become a motorcycle guy. But one thing is for sure, uh, I don't have to be a pirate to know that Morg Official has a fake religion and he is duping everybody following it. And it's laughable, it really is. It's called Hyperionism. And he has no response for any truest truth that that I would bring. So let it be known through the Lord's empowering spirit of prophecy that ignorance concerning the unity of man which must come. That's Christ's greatest prayer of, of, of John 17, that we would be one as he and God are one. And this is what is able to happen if people would but believe the word of God. And know that this gospel of the dove's love will now come and sweep in like a flood of foolishness from immature believers suffering from emptiness of mind, like Morgan Fischel, who has absolutely no clarity of thought about unity and how it could be brought. But I bring forth the everlasting covenant of the everlasting gospel 
giving total equality to all mankind because the covenant was written for all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27. And so know that we are all the children of Father Abraham and we shall soon coexist as a family. But peace amongst nations could only come through Isa Yeshua, Jesus the Christ alone. Uh, and then will come the glorious honesty of Chrislam's crescent-shaped sickle and his cross ablaze. For that Lamb of God alone uh, is the way, the truth, and the life. And he alone will be victorious ever after over all uh, who will walk the way of victory. Greater is he who is within us than he who is in the world. Better than the, the mark of the beast, 666, the mark of the lamb, Revelation 9, 4, is upon all loving people's uh, heart and head indelibly stamped. So these are the days when the earth will explode and the heavens will melt within the day of the Lord if nobody realizes it is utter fool. It is an utter fool who is afraid of God because he is love. People cannot fear love, but yet this was the mystery and it was allowed so that mankind could grow up. We are ready for me. So let everybody no more cling on to the heresy that Christ was not brought forth by his own very own word of life. Uh, for all that do burn with foolish stupidity brought forth by death, who is more official. And so in this hour, more than ever, we must look above and we must look to the heart of hearts of he who calls each of our names as if we were the only ones. Uh, and the floodgates are open and the shimmering of the sapphire sea on high is shimmering now in deep calls unto deep. And then the Lord spoke through the spirit of love and uh, the Lord in the spirit caused his dove of love to come forth with fluttering whitest wings and that transforming eagle of the eons then raised his head and looked upon the people and uh, then came a coo of love from that dove and with a, 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 a love in his voice uh, that dove of love said when love beckons you to follow follow him even though my ways are hard and steep and when my wings uh, enfold yield unto me and even though there has been a sword hidden among my pinions uh, that could wound, follow me. And when love speaks, uh, the Lord thereof, believe in him. And even though his voice might shatter your dreams, hear the living waters come forth. Even the living waters of Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon? Uh, and in these days, the living water, the deep calls unto the deep. And it's time to know that even as love crowns us, so shall he crucify us. For even as he is for our growth, so is he for our pruning. And even as he ascends unto your highest heights to caress your most tender branches that quiver in the sun, so shall he descend unto your very roots and shall shake them into the clinging of the earth. Say not to that flood of love to stop in the middle of your dried up desert. It will uproot all the trees of your dead trees in that dead valley of death, death valley. And so it is time to realize that like sheaves of corn, uh, the Lord of love is now gathering all of us uh, unto himself to make us naked. And then and only then may he shift us uh, to free us from our husk then he will grind us into the whiteness. But I warn you, Lord, fall not upon uh, uh, the rock. Don't be stupid. Uh, rather, uh, said that backwards. 
Don't let the rock fall on you. Fall onto the rock of your own free will so that you will not be pulverized. And when he assigns you to his sacred fire, if you do not listen, there are two fires, the, the fire of hellish uh, damnation, where the loveless are cast out, who cast love out of them. They, woe unto those, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, or be cast into the refiner's fire, and for silver hearts there can be gold. So it is your choice. One fire will make you most bitter, and one will make you most better. And uh, so it's time to realize that all these things shall love do unto all people following in that way so that you might know the deepest secrets of your heart. And in that knowledge then and only then can you become a beautiful fragment of life's most perfect heart, a heart that loves all people you might not like most. Uh, Jesus called the... Uh, Peter, a uh, devil, get thee behind me, you devil. But he loved him. And we don't have to like people to love people. And so in this hour, it is time to realize uh, that if in our fear, that if only you would seek only loves peace and loves pleasure, then it would become far better for you. Uh, if you don't do that, if you would cover your nakedness and pass out on love's threshing floor, it is better for you to be beat unto a pulp. And know that into the seasonless world where you shall laugh will you go, but not all of your laughter shall come, and not all of you will weep, and not all of your tears shall be of sadness. For those following the way of joyful happiness, the way of friendship, will he make you to seek the way of SpongeBob. And when you love, you would not say, God is in my heart, but rather you would say, I am like SpongeBob in the heart of God. And so know that love has no other desire but to fulfill itself. And uh, know that we should think not that we can direct the course of love. For if love finds us worthy, and he does, then he would direct our course if we follow in that way, in the way of SpongeBob and the friendship that he advises. So it's important now to realize that we need to melt and become like a running brook, singing its most beautiful melody into the deepest part of the night so that we can know the pain of too much tenderness. And it's time that we should be wounded by our own understandings of love. And it's time to bleed willingly and to joyfully let it ooze out so that we can wake up at dawn with a winged heart and give thanks for another day of loving just like Spongebob does every day and it's time to rest at the noon hour and to meditate on love's ecstasy to return home uh, in the evening tide with much overflowing gratitude and then we can have the most pleasant beautiful Eden-like dreams and go to sleep with a prayer for our beloved in our heart and with a song of praise on our lips. And if we would but do that, uh, then we will get much better instead of uh, bitter. And so uh, in this hour, it's time that we all need to become like little children. And if we would but do that, then I tell you truly uh, that it is time to hear him and if we can get that under our belts then we could do it we could do it i know we can we could be like the little tutu who could and if we would just grab a hold of that let that be our song and let that be a smile that will go in front of us because a smile is a language that all people can understand. Can you dig it? I hope you can. So until next time, do the tangle. And get happy for a life of following after the ways of SpongeBob. Not more. Out of there. He's dead. Let the dead bury their dead. Uh, when I look at and 
there's rigor mortis coming this way, and it don't smell too <laughs> alive to me. Because if he had a heart, he would have uh, balls to have a friendly discussion on how the hell we're going to get some unity happening in this world of disunity. Everybody wants to have your their own club. Can't you, Hyperion, see all you're doing is having a rah-rah session of your very own club? And there is no unity being uh, anywhere. And guess what? The bottom line is, it's time for the sickle. You know, it's a, ah, off with that Morgan Knight's head. And I ain't talking about the top one. <laughs>